I have deep vein thrombosis in a really big vein called the inferior vena cava and it's kind of located near your belly button. Deep vein thrombosis can form in the, uh, usually in the lower leg. They cause uh, symptoms of uh, pain and swelling in the leg. They're dangerous because uh, if a piece of the clot breaks loose, it can travel through the vein to the heart, sometimes through the heart into the lung, and sometimes even to the brain. The uh, problem with the clot in the lung is that it causes uh, pulmonary embolism, which is very, very dangerous, uh, usually deadly. And the problem with the brain is if that clot gets into the brain, it can cause stroke. Right now, I'm taking eight milligrams of Coumadin, which is my blood thinner. The main treatment for uh, DVT is uh, an anticoagulant, Coumadin or Warfarin, and uh, it reduces the formation of the blood clots, mainly by uh, blocking the synthesis of certain clotting factors, uh, which uh, prevents the clots from forming. In July of 2008, I had an injury where I jumped into the splits because I'm a gymnast and that's what I do. <laughs> and um, about as soon as I did it, my whole leg started hurting and within the same week, it swelled up double the size of what it was. My, my calves looked like my thighs. My thighs were pretty big too. <laughs> I went to the doctor and he said, that shouldn't look like that, especially for a week. So he scheduled me to go to the hospital and have an ultrasound done, and then they found it. I have to take blood thinners now, and I have to be really careful with everything I do. I, I can't really do much physical work because if I fell or cut myself or bruise myself, there is a chance that I could bleed to death. And it's something I'm not very comfortable with still. I spent 12 days in the hospital, had to have really painful shots in my sides called Lovenox and Heparin. They're blood thinning shots and they're, they're excruciating. The first night I was in there, I had to have an IV put into my arm and uh, had to be hooked up to that with just Lovenox going into my arm all night. But once and I'd been in there for a night and they had, they had the IV in my arm for overnight, the swelling in my leg went down, which was good. But then I remained in there for 12 more days getting shots, <laughs> which wasn't fun. At least 200,000 people a year die from a blood clot in the lung. And in 2006, there were 14,627 deaths from AIDS in America. Every year, about two million people develop uh, blood, blood clots, the DVT type. In uh, 2007, about two and a half million people were affected by HIV. All the publicity that's out uh, concerns HIV much more than it does DVT, but there are more deaths from DVT in the United States than there are from AIDS. Anything can happen to anyone. You know, you, you see someone that has cancer, for example, and you think, oh, that'll never happen to me. It can, just like blood clots can.